We're staying in front of 2138 Country Club Boulevard. This is today's deal of the day. This is a home that we just purchased. Uh, this one was purchased from a normal person who uh, just had to move. We're on Country Club Boulevard, which is a semi-busy road, but it's a beautiful area filled with palm trees, and we're in the heart of Cape Coral. And this is the before video to show the current condition of the house so you can see the work that it needs. First thing you can see is we got to do a lot of trimming out here with the yard. And uh, we had to actually evict uh, the kids. The, the lady that lived there was a nice old lady, but she was being taken advantage by her kids. And uh, they were just mooching off of her. So we had to evict them, and they put all this stuff on the driveway, and there's still a bunch of stuff in the house that we have to uh, take to the dump. Nothing of any value here. Um, now the house is concrete block and uh, that is a newer dimensional shingle roof up there which is a nice thing i'll take you around the side this is gonna have to get a major trimming right here the whole yard a major trimming but it is a fenced yard which is a big plus uh ac right there is working and in good condition coming around back here it is a nice big yard your neighbor has a pool, so you may want to make friends with them. <laughs> but uh, look at the size of this yard. Isn't this nice back here? So you got tons of room to add a pool if you wanted to back here. A nice level lot. You have a uh, large screen in lanai back here. But all this stuff has get just cut out of here completely. And also we do have one small problem over here. We have a honeybee infestation. Pretty common here in Florida. But if you can see right there, i looking where that hose spigot is. See the bees coming in and out. So we got a pretty sizable beehive in there, but we have bee people that come and take care of that. So let's take a walk inside, shall we? Okay, here we are just walking up to the front here. This will all clean up nice out here. Come in the front door here. And you can see all the debris. But this tile is actually in very, very nice condition. So we're gonna keep the tile and just replace the carpet. All this junk that they left behind, typical of uh, these types of homes where people just didn't care, or at least the people living here were slobs. But all this will go to the garbage. Ceilings are actually in nice shape. We usually don't like popcorn ceilings, but they're actually in excellent shape and will clean up nicely. Naturally, we'll take all the vents down and paint them and make them look brand new. Some nice towel over here. This goes out to the garage. We'll go there in a minute, but looking over here, it's a nice size living room, three windows. Coming over here is our dining room. And the tile's in great shape for that. <coughs> That's actually a nice ceiling fan, but we always replace everything with brand new, so that'll come down and go in the trash. Coming over here is our kitchen. Not sure what to do with the kitchen. The cabinets are actually not in bad shape, but we normally like to replace the kitchens with brand new cabinets. so. We're going to look at these and take a real hard look at what to do with the kitchen. If we want to keep the cabinets, if we want to paint them, if we want to reface them, or if we just want to come in and replace them. Uh, and uh, we'll make that decision later. It does have a nice lighting in the tray ceiling here, so that'll work out nice. Then uh, coming over here, it's a split bedroom design. Again, all this carpet is junk. It's going to go. These are the old hollow core doors. We normally upgrade to six panel. That's probably what we'll do here. Ceiling fan working, but junk, so we'll get rid of that. Louvered doors in the closets are actually not bad. We'll probably keep them because they're all in good condition and just uh, have them spray painted. And we'll probably put all new hardware because this is gold and that's old, so usually we do go with new hardware. We may also paint these doors because they're not in bad shape. This bedroom here, get rid of that ceiling fan. Window coverings might clean up, they're actually not bad. There's an old mattress that's got to go away. Closet in here, again, not in bad shape. A little linen closet right here isn't nice, but uh, this bathroom here, uh, we're going to leave the tile, but just get rid of the vanity, the toilet, and everything. We'll put a new tub and uh, shower in as well. We have to go with a or we'll go with a uh, uh, plastic surround, we're not sure what, but 
This has chips in it. There's a rust spot in the bottom. So as the tub goes, this one's pretty pretty much junk. But that's not bad. So the rest of this new mirror vanity toilet. Uh, it's not as big of a job as you would think. Now I'll come over here and go to the master bedroom first, but let me just give a quick look at this lanai. They did leave a hot tub. Don't know if it works. They say it does. Those things are hard to move, so this house will probably come with a free hot tub when we get done. Come on over here, our master bedroom. Again, decent ceiling fan in here. This room here, we have a spot right here in the um, ceiling where the popcorn isn't that great. So we may remove the popcorn in this bedroom and just uh, redo this ceiling in here normal. Um, other than that, even though it's a nice ceiling fan, we'll probably take it down and put brand new in. There's a walk-in closet down there. That's in good shape. Big walk-in closet. There we go. Lots of room. And then coming over here, master bath. We're going to get rid of that vanity, keep the tile, new toilet, and then probably retile this shower. Like the shower, it's a nice big shower, but it's all ugly tile, so I'll probably rip all that off and just put brand new tile in there. And that's about it. So, oh, the uh, garage. Let me finish by taking you out to the garage. Down over here. And uh, coming out to the garage, this is a hollow core door, which is not uh, code. We may put a steel door in there, so we have a correct fire door. And uh, again, the uh, uh, popcorn in the ceiling in here, not in good shape, so I'll probably take all this popcorn down and make it look nice. The house is replumbed, which is a good thing. So water heater is in good shape. We do have an electric garage door opener that does work. Garage door is in good condition. Just got a lot of debris out here that we have to haul to the dump. But uh, anybody on Oregon, let me know. It's yours free. If you're watching this video, you want to hear this garbage for free, just call me and come get it. And uh, that's about it. So join us in about 30 days when we come back to film this. You should see the house completely transformed into a beautiful home in about 30 to 45 days is our average time to redo a house like this. Well, that does it for me. If you'd be interested in more information about this property or other properties, subscribe to my YouTube channel or drop me a line. My information is coming up on the screen in just a second. And uh, come on down and see us in sunny southwest Florida. My name is Dave Depp, Flipping, Florida, and also with Real Edge Real Estate Brokerage. You take care and have a blessed day. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.